U.S. Border Patrol agents encountered more than 19,000 unaccompanied migrant children at the border this fiscal year, a number on pace to vastly surpass previous surges. The miners made the arduous journey from Central America without a parent, arriving after President Joe Biden reopened the border to them. We felt it was the most humane approach to uh, addressing what are very difficult circumstances in the region, and that means there are more children, kids under the age of 18, of course, coming across the border. Border Patrol encountered 78,000 migrants in January, a leap from former President Donald Trump's final months in office and the highest January total in a decade. On Tuesday, the Republican governor of Texas announced a surge of state police and National Guard troops in response to the worsening situation. There is a crisis on the Texas border right now uh, with the overwhelming number of people who are coming across the border. This crisis is a result of President Biden's open border policies. The Biden administration says the border is still closed to the majority of migrants. The few who are allowed in, officials say, are the unaccompanied children and the asylum seekers who had already been waiting in line in Mexico for two years. These families will live freely in the U.S. until an immigration judge decides whether they can stay. But the children who've arrived alone are detained inside Border Patrol holding cells for days or weeks in violation of a court order as they wait for shelter space that's nearing 100 percent capacity. The government has canceled pandemic restrictions at the shelters to fit more children who live here for more weeks until they are placed with U.S. sponsors. We're definitely seeing an uptick in numbers, but we're also seeing that the administration is very conscious of it and is working very quickly to put resources into place to handle future flows. Progressives urge the White House to improve the conditions of detained children, while conservatives accuse Biden of inviting a run on the border. Meanwhile, pandemic-related poverty in Central America is driving more people to leave, putting more pressure on Biden and on the U.S. border. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington.